Hi you all and welcome to this new video. I'm Camilla Tamburini and I'm a mainstream student in the United States of America. And this video is going to be in collaboration with two girls, Giulia Beskin. The other girl that is going to join me in this video is going to be Martina Gaglione. Martina Gaglione is pending her in Tennessee and she's a really good YouTuber. I'm going to put a link of her channel in the info below so you can go and check it out. Make sure you do it for both because they're both really good YouTubers. So go and check it out. The idea of this video uh, for us is like sharing with you all our feelings about this year so far I'm just gonna ask them 10 questions and they're gonna answer me but since I, I don't want the video to be too long they're gonna share these 10 questions so they're gonna answer five questions each let's begin with this interview before we get it started I just want to let you know guys that if I'm looking at the screen over here just because my uh, questions are here and What are some words you can use to describe the life of an exchange student? Life of an exchange student can be compared to roller coaster. I don't know because there are gonna be some moments where you're gonna be so happy and others where you're gonna have moments of completely like sadness and everything, you're gonna miss home. And it's it's normal. It's just normal. It's part of the game, it's part of life of an exchange student. You're gonna have moments where you are gonna be sad and homesick and others where instead you're never gonna want to go back so yeah how has your experience been so far my experience has been so good i literally loved it and i think that when i'll be back in italy i will miss this so so much what were your impressions when you first arrived when i first arrived i don't know i would just shocked by everything i was like oh my gosh it's like in movies i always thought everything was like in movies like i don't know the milk that is not really how we have in italy or like the portions at the restaurant the cars that are abnormous like huge i always i, I remember i used to to think that everything was like amazing like in movies and uh, yeah that's my first impression were you scared Oh my god, yes, I was completely freaking out. Like, I remember in the plane coming here, I was like, oh my god, no, I'm literally going to Canada, like, help! <laughs> How many times did you struggle with your English in the first times? I didn't really have a lot of problems understanding people, obviously, when like, they were like making jokes and stuff, yeah, I couldn't really get it, but I could kind of understand the general meaning of the conversation, so I didn't really have a lot of problems understanding. Uh, for the opposite, instead, I had issues, I still have issues sometimes of like to like reply back to people because like now I don't I don't think about I don't think about Italian translation and then I translate in English. Before I used to do it a little bit and sometimes the Italian is not just like the um, construction of the sentence is not the same in English so it's like a little bit hard but not too bad. Are you regretful about your decision to come here? Like if someone else forced you to do this? Well, nobody forced me to do this, so I had a choice. Like, I won a scholarship, so it's like, okay, I can do this or I could not. Like, if I don't accept this, they will call another person, it's not a problem. But I was like, do I really want to miss this experience because I'm scared? No, I don't. So I was like, okay, let's go. No. Halfway through your journey, in how many things do you think your personality and overall vision changed? How do you feel about your changes? I feel like the exchange year so far changed me a lot, like a person, like personality. How I see things and I don't know, an example. I used to think that Italy was disgusting, I hated Italy and I thought that America was the best country ever. And now after seven months yeah, that I'm here, I can, I can say that I like, I love my country, Italy is amazing. I always thought it was disgusting and I don't know, the exchange year just changed your perspective in life, I think. Um, you can now, now, like at this point, after seven months, I can appreciate what, appreciate more what I left behind me, so Italy and all my friends and family. And 
I don't know, I just can't understand more what I want in life. The exchange year helped me to understand what I want and how I want it and what I want to do in my future, what, where I want to live, I don't know. When has been the worst period in which you miss home the most so far? How did you come over that? Okay, I had two periods of like that. The first one was the day before I started in school and I was freaking out because I realized that I wouldn't be going to school with my whole friends and my usual class and I would be like in a place where I don't know anybody. And the second time was after Christmas when my parents and my girlfriend came here to stay here for a week and when they got back I had such a bad period because I was like oh my god like literally I'm stuck here for other six months. But then I just overcame that because I was like well, okay, I have them, but I also have here, and I love people here. So why should I like miss occasions here just because I'm sad in it for something that is just in Italy? How many things did the exchange year change in your life so far? The main thing is that I have two families now, and I love them so much, both, because I don't know. Um, how I said before, the exchange year uh, changed me so much uh, inside, like myself, and also changed my vision. And I don't know, there are other stuff that the exchange year brought into my life, like two families, friends from all over the world, so yeah. What would be one of your advices for the future exchange students or people in general? Would you recommend this experience? I would recommend 100% this experience. It makes you recognize who you truly are and it makes you understand you better and at the end of this experience you will be independent. You would know for sure who you are, what you need to be happy and you will know English uh, perfectly. You, you will be to speak English like completely in a good way and everybody will understand you. And it doesn't matter if you will use English in your future life or job or whatever. It's just an experience that I would recommend to everybody because it's so beautiful and it's just, it's not a journey, it's a second life. Okay, so the video is done and we really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, just make sure you put a like, right? somewhere under the video and subscribe to my channel and to their channels to know more about our news because a lot of videos are coming up soon from our channels so just make sure you go and check it out you're more than welcome to ask questions propose something propose uh, topics about videos that you would like to see or something that you would like to see in the future from me or from martina or from julia and just make sure you tell us and also at the end of the video i'm gonna put the name of my social network so you can uh, contact me whenever you want and ask me whatever you want about everything if you are a little bit ashamed or something that you don't want to share public so just make sure you contact me privately and just gonna answer you at every question you have of course follow me on snapchat and instagram because more than facebook are gonna be the app that i use the most um to do like daily updates about my experience so make sure you uh, follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat to stay tuned with all my um, daily experiences. Thank you Martina so much for collaborating with me and Julia saying have a great experience you too and have a great experience all of the other future exchange students and bye!